AI is going to be the next big bubble to pop. So I'm interested to see what you think, but I got some reasons and I got some pretty cool um, data. And I even got AI to ask what AI is going to do. So let's go over some of these scenarios because you guys voted in the channel about is AI a forefront for layoffs? And it's overwhelmingly yes. And I thought it was going to be um, overwhelmingly, but not to the the percentage that it is. So check out the percentage that it is right now. And it is actually really, really brutal that all these CEOs are using layoffs, um, basically using AI as layoffs and just say, hey, you know, we're gonna we're gonna lay you guys off because you know we're having AI do stuff. And I think that's a bunch of hocus pocus. And so I asked artificial intelligence what it thinks it can um, it can do and how it can help my business, right? So let's go over these first. So key things is customer service. AI powered chatbots can provide 24 seven support, right? And I get that chatbots been around since like the 1966 or something. So I got the data right here. So chatbots been a thing for a long while. Now it's just, it's just a more advanced version of it, right? And it can then analyze, um, you know, your customer and it can then help them make a better decision on purchasing, right? So this is how it can help in customer service. So now let's look at operations, right? Process automation, streamline repetitive tasks, freeing up employees for more strategy, more strategic work, right? So that was another one, right? So process automation, streamline tasks, so it can then basically just monitor and you give it inputs and then it will just basically look at it and say, hey, you know, this is what we're going to, um, you know, if you always have to do this one thing when, you know, this happens, then we got to change something. So A plus B, then it will do C, right? Because it's always A and B and then it will do C, right? But this can also be done with a normal program. This doesn't have to be artificial intelligence, right? So now let's look at data analysis. AI algorithms identify patterns and insights from large databases to improve decision making. Yeah, that it probably can. If you feed it a bunch of information, it can come up with trends. And it's probably, this is where I see that it comes in really handy for data analysis, um, that it can actually, you know, it's a way more advanced like Excel where you can just put in a bunch of data and it basically spits out the numbers and it can make graphs, fancy charts, before you needed a bunch of data scientists to do all that. And I think now, you know, AI can just do it, right? It can do fraud detection, help prevent, you know, financial losses. Yeah, I think it could do that too, but that's just another program, right? It's like, it's like we already had apps and all these kind of things, right? And now we're gonna go into something more interesting, right? Product development. AI helps generate new ideas and designs. I don't think AI can do any of that. I don't think it's creative. I had um so I tested out um you know Gemini doing asking it, hey, generate you know, generate images. And I said, you know, let's do something super specific, and it couldn't do it. So I asked it to put the Eiffel Tower into um into a city, and it couldn't do it because it said that uh it doesn't have that data. And then I've asked it to do um can you draw me, so this is it. So can you draw me a cow that is being milked that has chocolate milk coming out and it does not have any of, and it can't do it, it just can't do it. And these are tasks that um, it should be able to do, but I don't know why it can't, right? So, and these are the images it spits out, right? So AI human resources, AI power tools automate parts of the hiring process, such as screening resumes. So screen, screening resumes has been a thing for a long time where it's the ATC applicant tracking system. So these are just fancier versions of stuff we already have, right? So now we're gonna look at the chatbots, right? So like I said, the chatbots, First chatbot, Elisa, was created in 1966, right? And I don't know, this is, you know, from AI, right? So all these things result into the biggest bubble ever. Because, and here we go, there has been estimates of $110 billion put into these companies to develop AI. And you guys in the comments actually said that 
you guys are working on AI and you guys don't even know how to implement it, but you know, these executives are, you know, forcing guys to do AI. And so that got me thinking, hmm, who is, who is in charge of these companies? And so I looked at uh, the Fortune 500 companies is the majority of C-suite and CEOs are boomers and no fault to them, but these boomers had the hardest times even understanding Zoom when COVID hit, right? And now all of a sudden we're asking these boomers to be in charge of AI and then they're coming up with stuff like this where they just say, oh, we're gonna have sleep, AI monitored sleep. You know, it will adjust your sleep. That is like an app. I feel like we're in the era of calling everything that is remotely software related uh, AI. So if you're a developer and you know, before it was everything has to be app based and then has to be on the blockchain and then you need the website. And now we're in the era of everything AI. So if you're a programmer, just call it AI. So if you write a little bit of code, you just need to sell it as this is AI. And then just link it to a GPT or something and say, this is AI. And that's basically what we're doing. We're just using, you know, this, this little chatbot, you know, this language model and just saying, oh, this is AI. And I get it for, you know, for some stuff, you know, for some stuff, it's probably gonna be really, really good, but we're decades away. We're probably another 10, 15 years away of actually having something that is really, really time saving, right? Because the way I look at it and the way I look at it, and I'm interested to hear what you guys are saying, but the way that I use AI is, you know, I use transcripts, I summarize emails, and those are saved. How much does that save? And it helps me correct my spelling because I'm not, you know, native English speaker. And so I use it to help me write, write better, right? And those, and in those things, it's really, really good. But to come up with actually time measuring with time saving um, stuff, it is years away. And so I'm wondering, what are you guys developing, you know, from these big companies that is such, such big to justify these layoffs? And I know you guys don't think so, but there gotta be somewhere where you guys are, you know, these companies or you guys been laid off because you're working on something revolutionary that is going to shape the world, right? Because, you know, like when you let all these 10, 15,000 people go, and you know, you let all these people go because of AI advancements, what are they doing? What, what are these AI tools that are gonna make you obsolete? Because I haven't seen yet where you can just have a subscription to an email service and it responds your email to your, you know, on behalf of you without you even doing it. So all these emails that these people got aren't just answered, right? And so I'm still asking, and I haven't gotten an answer today because there probably isn't one. What is, what is that new AI development? What is it? What are you guys, what did the CEO come up with um, that, or you know, the C-suite team to justify these layoffs, right? To say, hey, we're developing this all-knowing AI. And I heard, um, and I've heard the, the NVIDIA um, CEO talking about they use AI to come up with better solutions. And I know that you can use artificial intelligence to come up with math equations, right? They have these big computers and they come up with better math equations, how to better design chips and do all that. Yes, that is an extreme case scenario, but for all of us other people out there that don't need to do these big, big computing things, what is so time saving? because I just don't see it. I see that you can save with AI, you can save about a few minutes per email. And if you're only doing email every day, you know, you save maybe 30 minutes without reading it, but you still gotta read the thread and do all these other things. So, you know, you have a uh, context and, you know, giving your, an, an AI response isn't gonna save you that much time. And the kicker is that Bunch of companies do not allow you to use AI from Google or Microsoft because they're worried about them getting it stolen. So they all need to develop their own AI to do what? And that's what I want to hear in the comment section because I just, I just can't have my, my head around it because it's just whenever I read it, 
yeah, you can, you know, you can write you an article, but it's, everybody knows it's going to be written by AI. And that's pretty much it, you know? It can't do videos. It even has the hardest time of creating images. So, yeah, it's, it's years away, years away. So all these layoffs back to the bubble is related to layoffs and a big, big bank at the end of the day. So also, what I was wondering is where did these $110 billion go? These investments that went to, that went into AI, because people being let go, right? So where did these investments go? Did they go into, they didn't go into people because then we would see that these people were getting hired. So where did that money go? Into chips, into software, into, into what product, into servers? What, what, where did that money flow to, right? Because when you'd make investments into the roads, you see that there's clear roads, right? When you invest $110 billion into something, you should probably see something for it. And I don't think that um, we're see, we have seen $110 billion worth of amazingness swerving around, right? So I feel like this is like the US government, you know, trying to attempt to, you know, to come up with something and then they're like, oh, let's just slap AI on everything and be like, hey, this isn't a great, this isn't a great product, but it's AI powered, so it's gonna be great and it will, and it will do whatever you need it to do. So this whole AI thing is gonna be a huge, huge bust. And the kicker, this is, this is even bigger than, um, you know, than the dot com and everything. It's gonna be, there's gonna be a winner takes all. In the early 2000s, it was distributed. You know, you had Apple, you had all these other companies to do it. But now we're in such a winner takes all economy that I don't know if it's just gonna be OpenAI or Gem Gemini or one of these. One of these is just gonna outperform everybody and just gonna, you're just gonna have one. This is gonna be one because there's no room in the market for other, you know, for Google or anything else. That's why they're so scared. So there's going to be one, right? So it's kind of, kind of crazy. And yeah, this is, this is going to be really, really interesting, especially when you're looking at, oh, you know, these cars, you know, Elon Musk's car stuff where he's like, we're going to do, we're going to do, um, we're going to do driving, self-driving, you know, fully self-driving. And he's been saying that for years and we still don't have it, right? And I know driving cars is hard, you know, especially with all the software and all that kind of stuff. So it is gonna be very, very interesting to see where and how they're gonna implement it and where it's actually gonna save people time. Because when you talk about AGI, you know, this is the actual artificial intelligence or whatever you call it, that's gonna have huge, huge, um, consequences for all these workers, right? So it's called AGI, Artificial General Intelligence. And that is gonna be, if that's gonna come out, that's gonna be like um, Tony Stark's AI that can then actually optimize your life. It can actually tell you, you've been, you've been not been drinking enough water because I know the hand movement and I feel your body and doing something like Tony Stark does. But we are so far out from all that that we're like at the baby stages of it and we're just at the era of slapping everything just naming it so that it looks good to investors and people are like oh you know you guys are great you know and when you're looking at these ceos and you're looking at these people that give money it's the boomers and for them it's good enough to just slap ai on everything and say oh these were uh these were ai related layoffs and then other boomers are gonna be like, yeah, yeah, we get it. You know, there's such big advancement. But then when it comes down to reality, there's nothing. There's like absolutely nothing. Nothing to show for. And you're not saving much money with, you know, whatever you're doing. So the bubble is getting bigger and bigger. And you guys are just calling it AI, AI, AI. But it is in true man's work, just a few lines of code with a GPT and then you're calling it, this is AI now, this is AI. Basically a chatbot, 
a 2.0 version of a better chat pot. And you know, that's all right too, but call it what it is. But we're, we're in an era of deceiving, right? We're in an era of just getting everything, labeling it so it fits the terms, it fits the trend. And then you can just move on and let people go and say, you know, we're saving so much time with AI. And at the beginning, I did believe that. At the beginning, I saw these advancements. You know, I saw, you know, OpenAI come out with their things. I was like, ha, oh, you know, if they implement it right, it would do it. And you know, you can write code from it. But then a lot of developers messaged me and said, you know, these codes are faulty and you still gotta, you know, make sure it fits and do all that. And so it's not that easy just to have AI route a code. So there's been a lot of people online saying that just because it can write code doesn't mean that it can actually do it. Will it at one point do it? Yes, at one point, probably in 20, 30 years, it can do coding and you just have to type in what you want and it will do everything. But that is way down the line. Do I think in, a, in, a, in 30, 40 years, we're gonna have different transportation? Yeah, probably. Everything will change, right? But as of today, as of 2024, we're so far away from AI that I'm just sick of the buzzword, right? And to be, to be calling it, you know, to be calling these layoffs AI related is also nonsense. They just wanna, they just wanna do the layoffs and to make it sound good is, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna do, we're just gonna do AI focused layoffs. And somebody also brought up a good thing in my comment section that said, why would investors, um, why would any investor, VC capital, invest into a company right now when you can actually fund, when you can actually buy CDs, you can buy government-backed bonds and get a four, four and a half percent on your money with no risk. And if you bet it onto a company, then you'd be like, oh my gosh, I might lose four or five percent because you know, of volatility and all that. And so why not put it somewhere safe? And that's gonna pull out of, um, you know, money that's gonna pull investments out of, you know, companies. And then they're gonna be like, oh, you know, you guys are losing money on, you know, on VC funding. So we're just gonna pull back, you know, stock's gonna keep dipping. And then we're gonna, oh, to keep the profit margins up, we gotta do layoffs. And what better way to do layoffs than blame it on AI, right? And we got this proprietary, super, super artificial intelligence um, software now that can do everything. And so we're not gonna need all these employees. So let me know what you guys think about this. I think it's just, it's been blown out of proportion. And yeah, it's just, it's not in the right time. It's not in, it's not in a time of, of, uh, you know, where all this stuff is in a downturn market, I just don't think that AI is here to save time and streamline processes. So I feel like a broken record on this one, but you know, this is it. So follow me on LinkedIn. Let's connect. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. This is kind of rant about AI because I just don't see it. So I upload every day, 9.30, same day. Or if you're on the East Coast, it's 11.30. Yes, 10, 11, 12, 30. So I appreciate you guys and I'll see you in the next one.